Two years ago, I made this YouTube video that kind of got me a lot of flack. The video was titled, Concerns I Have with Evan Bouchard. And it was a simple video in my mind. It was a video of me, a Vancouver Canucks fan, talking about why I did not want to take Evan Bouchard with the Vancouver Canucks 7th overall draft pick in 2018. Now, why exactly did I make this video? Well, because Evan Bouchard was a top NHL draft prospect from that 2018 NHL draft who was projected to go somewhere in that maybe 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 range. And he is a right-handed defenseman. So the Vancouver Canucks fan in me looked at this draft and looked at Bouchard. I looked at Dobson and I said, you know what? These are the kinds of guys that my Vancouver Canucks would probably really want to take. And a lot of Canucks fans were kind of on board with that idea. But the video I made two years ago was talking about why I didn't want him. Sure, Evan Bouchard was a very productive OHL defenseman in his draft year. He had 87 points in 67 games. And sure, he was the most productive CHLer who was in his first draft eligible year. I get that. But the thing with me was that Evan Bouchard was a little bit more than just the numbers. The video I made talking about my concerns with the guy was just about how, even though he has really good passing instincts, he's got really good offensive IQ in the Ozone, he's got a cannon of a shot, and he's got an ability to just wind up, let it rip, and somehow get it on net or in the net at a level that was just up and away above his peers and his competition. It's just to me, the fact that his skating, it was pretty slow. His acceleration wasn't really there, and furthermore, his work ethic and his compete level was not to what I would define as a positive ability. Then I took a step back and I said, you know what, I really would not want to take this player because, sure, offensive IQ, offensive skills, that's great. But if this guy's getting outskated by CHLers who are 16, 17, 18 years old, what more when this guy takes his game to the pro level? The point is, there's a lot to work with here that isn't really easy to work with. Skating and fundamentals, that stuff is difficult to hone in on. And I know a lot of Canucks fans immediately to that argument that I made in my video said, but Bo Horvat exists. He's a guy who was also a weak skater in his draft year, and now he's a beast. Well, the point is Bo Horvat is not the rule. He is the exception. Not everybody who is poor at skating is able to better themselves in the same way that Horvat did. But now, Two years later, after Evan Bouchard was drafted 10th overall by the Edmonton Oilers, after a draft plus one season that some people would say was lackluster, and after his first full pro season, I'm here to say that man oh man, this guy has absolutely improved. Now before we get any further, let's just go over the profile real quick. Bouchard, October 20th, birthday 1999. He's 20 years old. He's a 6 foot 3, 194 pound right-handed D-man. And his best assets coming into the draft were his offensive abilities by far. We already talked about this stuff, but man, he was so good at passing, so good at shooting. He was a shot generating machine at the OHL level. And his slap shot is seriously, seriously strong. Scouts praised his ability to slow the game down and take things in and play off of that. His smooth skating and his offensive instincts made for a player who could just dominate the junior hockey score sheets, and boy oh boy, that's what he did. We already mentioned it, but he had the most points out of every first-year draft eligible player in the CHL. However, in his next season after the draft, he didn't nearly have the same amount of points. He had 53 points in 45 games, which is somewhat of a drop-off in the points and the points per game category. He had a stint with the Edmonton Oilers where he did score a goal and that was awesome, but they sent him down to complete the OHL season. In the playoffs though, the guy was absolutely on fire. 21 points, 11 games played. My goodness, almost 2 points a game in the playoffs. His World Juniors last year, eh, it wasn't really that great. Sure, he had three points in five games, but at the same time, the same issues that I kind of highlighted in my concerns with Evan Bouchard video kind of showed themselves off at the international stage. Compete level, work ethic, and an overall ability to keep up with the pace. That was somewhat of a challenge for Bouchard at the World Juniors in 2019. But man, 
after his first season with the Bakersfield Condors, this guy has absolutely improved. 36 points in 54 games in the AHL as a 19-20 year old. Okay, great. That is awesome to see. But honestly, his play goes beyond just the numbers. Evan Bouchard, when I watched Bakersfield Condors footage this past season, was a guy who didn't do the same Evan Bouchard-like qualities that I used against him in my video two years ago. This guy, when breaking the puck out, is actually able to wheel past back checkers. He's gotten faster, his acceleration has improved. Furthermore, on the back check himself, he gets a lot more involved with the play than before, and it complements the already strong defensive hockey IQ that he had very, very nicely. I made this point back in the video two years ago, but Evan Bouchard's defensive IQ, while good, wasn't really as perfect as some people would describe it to be. To me, in my opinion, Bouchard's defensive game two years ago was so good when his team was hemmed in the D zone and the other team was cycling it around. His positioning to know where the other opponents would be, opening up passing lanes, blocking off backdoor passes, that stuff was really good. It's just his engagement on the back check after a turnover in three on three, stuff like that, that is what I was kind of talking about was a red flag because he wouldn't really be fast enough. He wouldn't really be eager enough. It looked like to me at least. And that was ultimately what made me say, you know what? I don't like the work ethic. I want to go with somebody else in this draft, but he's taken a big step. This guy back checks really well now and against tougher competition, mind you. This thing was easy to get away with in junior hockey because 18, 19 year olds, what are these guys gonna do, huh? These guys are teenagers and most of them are not even gonna make pro hockey. So what's to say that because Evan Bouchard was struggling against CHLers that he wouldn't struggle against other pro hockey players once he got to that level? Well, he really didn't do that. And as a member of a really bad Bakersfield Condors team, Evan Bouchard was one of the best players on that entire squad. Tied for second in the entire team in points with Tyler Benson. Remember that guy? Yeah, he's going to be really good too. He led the team in assists, and in terms of overall AHL defenseman scoring, he was 10th. Really not bad. The Bakersfield Condors were the second worst team in the entire AHL, and Evan Bouchard found ways to make himself more valuable to that squad and actually prove that he can compete against men. The exact thing that I was worried about two years ago being completely disproven, and he looked pretty okay in the process. Now at the same time, I know you may be thinking, Lego, you're really pumping his tires out there. Why are you talking about this guy like he's Quinn Hughes now? And no, that's absolutely not what I'm saying. Sure, I may be waxing poetic about how Evan Bouchard has improved, but the bottom line is Evan Bouchard is still not a top class skater, nor is he a player whose mobility is the number one best asset of his game. It's just the fact that his improvements have gone this far is definitely noteworthy to me, because if he can compete and skate at the way that he is doing right now, I think he can be, at the very least, a capable top four offensive defenseman in the NHL who can quarterback a number one power play and who can be effective. In my video two years ago, I said that these traits would limit him from having that kind of impact at the big shot leagues, but we're being proven wrong because at 20 years old, this guy on the second worst AHL team in the entire league was a very, very effective player. And I'm happy to say that everything that I was discrediting him for, he has gotten better and he's worked at it to a level where it is acceptable now. And it's not like his offensive game has died down either. All that stuff, the really good passing, the awareness, the IQ, the shot selection and the shooting itself, all that stuff is still there. It's why he got so many points. So for Evan Bouchard next year, I honestly would not be surprised if this guy cracks the Edmonton Oilers right out of training camp. He gets some games in the bottom four, but then he gets some games in the top four, and then he starts out on the power play with McDavid and Dreisaitl and Yamamoto, and all of a sudden things look really, 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 really good in Edmonton once again. Ah, oh, man, this guy's gonna get so many points passing the puck up to McDavid. That's insane. Evan Bouchard, you better be counting your lucky stars right now, man, because once Dreisaitl is the guy that you're sending passes up to, then you're going to get so many more assists. So 
I want you to tell me what do you think about Evan Bouchard? Have my attempts at exercising my former comments worked, or is everything that I talked about back then still true today? Talk to me in the comments below. What do you think about Bouchard as a prospect and his long-term potential? Tell me all about it in the white box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Search on Troll 99 and bye.